Well, it's about number five. It's about the 34, 35 up in your Fairfax reported person shot. That was a call that changed everything for Travis Glenn's family. Glenn, just 30 years old, a father, a son, a boyfriend, and more to those who knew him. Glenn died after someone shot into his house Saturday morning. Chase Bachman talked with his family, his girlfriend still with the bullet wound fresh on her face. And Chase, we know this story had to be hard to hear. It really is. Travis and his girlfriend Alexis Quillen were playing with their kids Saturday morning. His mother says he was teaching his three year old how to count when bullets began flying through their house. I felt something hit my face and I grabbed my kids and told them to get to the ground. We was right by Travis's feet. Um, my daughter was wrapped up in his arms when it happened and uh, we dropped to the ground and I looked up and I seen that he was hit. Quillen says first responders tried to save Glenn for more than 45 minutes, but he didn't make it. His mother, Claudia Kemp, is angry that her son was killed even inside his own home. The gun violence just has to stop. It just has to stop. They're killing each other. You know, they're killing innocent bystanders. My son was playing with his kids. Glenn is one of Kemp's five children, but to her, he was more than just a son. That's my baby boy, and I lost my youngest son, and he was just such a great man. You know, he was a loving father, a great boyfriend. Quillen spent the last 11 years with her boyfriend. They had three kids together, and now she's raising them as a single mom. I don't know how to get up and go do the same things that I did with him without him. I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> Glenn's family says it needs help to pay for his funeral expenses. We've posted a link to their GoFundMe on our website, WTOL.com. Reporting in studio tonight, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11. Right now, Toledo police have not made any arrests in this deadly shooting. It is one of 24 unsolved homicides this year. And so far, the city has seen 49 killings. That is close to the 54 that we saw at this time last year and 47 at the same time in 2020. If you have any information that can help police find Glenn's killer or to solve any other unsolved homicides, you could be eligible for a cash reward. Just call or text Crime Stoppers. That number is 419-255-1111.